don't need bigger knife. We are back, <laughs> and I am the Rock It Man. I'm a Rock It Man. Rocket Man. Burning out his fuse out here. Alone. Mm, Rocket Man. I, I, I have my <laughs> doubts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have <laughs> my doubts. Uh, so this episode, we're yeah. continuing on talking about CRKT stuff. We're going to hopefully pound this through in one Next episode. knife! Next knife is the Lucas Burnley squid holy folding knife. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. Nigel, <laughs> Nigel's getting into it. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Because, <laughs> honestly, I don't think there's much difference. Um, one's, holy oh, is my one's, God. They made holes in the handle. Yeah. yeah. So there's two different okay, so there's two skews really close together. There's the four the two four nine one and the two four nine two. One doesn't have holes and is spring assisted. The other one does have holes and isn't. Um and the blade on the assisted one looks a little bit longer and stubbier nosed. It's birch yeah. chubby going or yeah. not birch chubby, the birch pickle. What was the bombshell? It's got a bombshell yeah. look to it. <laughs> it's, it kind of does. Bit. I'm just kind of quickly flicking back and forth here. And yeah, yeah, you're right. It is. It does snooty. have a little pickle Rick going on. Yeah, pickles. <laughs> it's all about the pickles. It's a little bit <laughs> too too pickly for me. Uh, what kind of steel are we working with here? Uh, I think it's ACR on both. Yeah. HCR sure 14 and HCR 14. Okay. So more of the same that we've seen before. Um, I don't know. Any standout thoughts on this guy? Either of them really? Next night, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it. That's all we care about. Yeah, it's a squid. Oh, brutal. Okay, well, I mean, the, the assistant Except ones the next one way. isn't a knife. So next axe! Okay, but here's... Okay, I will say, before we get too far ahead. The holy squid. A squid is a bit of a tank, so I don't know what the comparison with an original squid weight compared to the holy squid. We could look I hope they call up. it the holy squid. It's, it's, Can it's, I get one with a Jesus motif? Please. It's totally uh, squid Jesus. My stigmata. Can you <laughs> they Can call you it the by? squid holy. Oh, I they need... do. That's unfortunate. That's a missed opportunity. I yeah. need a complete head holy with squid. Jesus' body. Paul, um, you should they, do... <laughs> they do have the Cthulhu logo that they've already printed on something. It wouldn't be hard to just manipulate that into just, some sort I'm of. Just yeah. saying. I need that in my life. Anyway, that's the only question I have is because if it did actually significantly reduce weight, I will give it credit because that thing for how small it is is a bit of a tank. Yeah, it's a jump, let's, but... let's just look up the squid just because we're here. And Next! It's... No, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Facts. No, no, while you're looking it up, we yep. can go next axe. That's fine. We can backtrack if we... Okay. Next axe! Come on, Joe. We got a lot to get through. Come on, it's not going to take that You got more than one window, man. Five. Three, no, I don't. Three, it's like two, done. one. It's a good night. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Oh dear, we're back to that again. Good night. I don't know what that was. But cool. Hey, look at that. Another, uh, another R RMJ uh, axe. And it's a berserker so it's bearded a Freyer Viking axe. Uh, so yeah, it's a Freyer version that actually has enough room for your fingers to do what the Freyer was intended to be able to do. Okay, but sure. but is yeah. this axe as thick as the Freyer? No, it's supposed to be thinner. Really? So okay, great job, guys. <laughs> this is actually an axe that excites me because really all axes are kind of made of a similar material. So as long as the fit and finish is the same, I actually give this axe some high hope for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I wish the hammer pole was heat treated, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Doesn't I'm pretty sure like it. I'm gonna still hate gonna hit shit with it. That's just yeah. all there is to it. <laughs> it's yeah. It, it it'll is. it'll leave dense. They'll be black and dense. The coating is like. Chromium manganese or some crap. I was impressed. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know what that dark coating so was before. Black yeah. black manganese phosphate coating. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, I mean, cool. it, I didn't know that before. Yeah. Okay. And it's relatively inexpensive. It doesn't look like it's going to break anybody's bank. Uh, should come in a little bit cheaper than what? The Chogan T Hawk will, I think. And if they keep the base around the head like as thick as a frere, but they do that front primary bevel that we can all kind of see on that picture, mm -hmm. yeah. if they 
kept that relatively thin on the taper going in. This could be all the pros say. of all of the CRKT axes molded into one where you could actually do some damage with it, like a Chogan and oh, yeah. a Frere and a whatever, right? Like it's, yeah. I'm interested in holding it and finding out. Mm -hmm. um, before we go to oh, next... Oh, yeah. That was the, the extent of my thoughts. Just, it's a Frogan. It's Fair a Frayer, Trogan. Frogan. No, ha no hammer, though. It's still got yeah. no hammer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How of, okay, so honestly, just quick quick before we jump away, how often do you guys actually end up using a hammer while you're outdoors? Or at any, if any sort of... If it's there quite often, or else I'm looking for a rock to use to put in, uh, like, stakes for holding tarps down and stuff like that. Right, but aside from those particular tasks, do you find you need to use it for much else? Um, we have been known to use wooden wedges for batoning mm -hmm. through things, and the hammer does work really well. And okay. this still would. For a wooden wedge, I wouldn't be to flip my axe around backwards and pound it through a wooden wedge. Because we've split, like, what was the log we did? It had to be six feet long, and we split it, it was in half. It was fucking hefty. Wow. Yeah, right. we was... used a whole bunch of wooden wedges okay. from either side and pounded them in. And, and, yeah. for, and for striking wood, having a non-tempered back face for hammering with, I don't think is going to be the end of the world. I think where you might have problems is like metal pegs when you're or stakes. Pegs. The pegs yeah. are going to make dents. Yeah, for sure they are. Okay, fair enough. Well, next axe. Right. I'll take the pictures in next summer of the dents oh. that I make with pegs. Anyway, just because I have axe. just before, but just because I have the information here, it's three point four ounces on the original squid with the squid holy. I hate that. Uh, it is also three point four. Next axe. Something stupid. In yep. the neighborhood. Something stupid. Who are you gonna call? Three point four. The yep. next axe. Ghostbusters? No. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the Elmer Roush 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 Freya axe. Tennessee Hickory for the handle. Can we all say what we all want to say about this axe? It's the uh, Cold Steel Norse Hawk. <laughs> oh, um, I was gonna say they made a Kimbra that's a universal handle finally. That they, too. <laughs> they took the Kimbra axe and took it off of a hockey stick. And <laughs> yeah, put it on a proper handle. Uh, yeah, call it a new axe. Call what it is, I guess. Jesus, it took me a second to realize which axe you were even talking about. I forgot about that stupid thing. The hockey stick wasn't the wasn't the Kimbra uh, straight like along the the top part of the head? Wasn't it flat before it came down to the face rather than coming up? I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, C, yeah, is it the uh, oh C I M B R I? Yeah, yeah, but I've it got... was also a it was also an Elmer Roche design, so I mean okay. there mm -hmm. might be some slight variations, but I it's did kind of bring still the picture yeah. up just to see if that's the one you guys are talking about. The axe head does look mm -hmm. fairly different. It is but... flat. It's a flat top on it. Flat ish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, definitely does have some differences for sure. But mm -hmm. as soon as you told me that that was an Elmer Roche axe, I was like, "Yep, sure is." Like it's yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks that. like the in-between size from the uh, Cold Steel Norse Hawk and the Cold Steel Trail Hawk. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, for sure. <laughs> What's the... Oh, I didn't even check the weight on the last head, but the weight on this one is uh, 1.93 for everything. <laughs> that's light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to bitch right now just because you scrolled down and I saw the... Uh, additional frere sheath as an add-on i don't know if it'll work or not for that one but i like companies just need to charge an extra 10 bucks and include the sheath already no it's really yeah. annoying me that there's so many companies out there that there's like here's an axe like just include the sheath it make me pay 10 bucks more or 15 bucks more or whatever it is type of thing but give me uh, a way to carry the damn thing yeah 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 <laughs> Or add it as an option where you can buy them separately or buy it as a package deal or whatever type yeah. of idea. And For even sure. if it's in the same thing, I'm sure a lot of companies would order the SKU that had the package deal and just sell them that way, right? So. More than likely. <laughs> Next item. Next item. That is the Matthew Lurch LCK. Okay. So now the LCK, that sounds familiar. This is the LCK plus. <coughs> oh, LCK plus. I thought, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
LCK because the plus. LCK I believe already exists, and this is just an assisted version with some slight yep. tweakings, if I remember correctly. Yes. So the it's LCK had, out. Yeah. yeah, it had a different blade shape too. I think it was a bit of a clip point. It looks like for the original. Anyway, the new one, uh, glass reinforced nylon handles. That looks like G ten. The handle's though. the same. It's just a different. Oh blade no! Shape. Okay, it is. It is injection molded. Um, yeah, I, I mean, know. nothing cool, bro. Jumping on the Warren Cliff Cleaver train. Yeah. War, have we noticed that the Cleaver train is like molding into more and more of a reverse Tanto Warren Cliff train as yeah. well? More, more as people realize what's actually practical. Yeah. They're asking for more and more slender knives, yeah. I think, or they find that they're just easier to work with. Um, mm -hmm. 8CR. Yeah, 8CR. Oh, no, it's only 8CR. 13 MOV. No, 14. Boo. But hey, you get the IKBS ball bearing system, so it's probably fairly snappy. Caged. Um, or this is an IKBS with assisted? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this isn't the only model that has both of those things together. That's it's kind of silly. They did that a lot, yeah. How, yeah. Was that a new this year thing? Or uh, was that, to my uh... knowledge, yes. To my knowledge, mm -hmm. this was just something they started doing okay. with the 2021 lineup. I just put the pieces together <laughs> to that now that <laughs> they're combining those two things. Well, no, but no other company has done yeah, but you know, spring don't, assisted with ball bearing. When they say don't cross the streams, clearly they were talking about assisted opening and ball bearing <laughs> pivots. <laughs> you shouldn't cross those two things. Um, don't cross the streams. You, you were not I, having the conversation the you things. think you were having there, by the way. <laughs> you, don't, you don't think so? Really? What, what makes you think that? <laughs> um, what were you I, saying, Paul? Oh, yeah. I just worry about the, the stop pins taking all that extra abuse from which I assume is going to be a very quick action. Well, I mean, it's CRKT, so you have every right to be a little bit concerned about the quality of the stop pins, but uh, I, I, I imagine they're probably going to be fine in all in all seriousness. Um, um, between that and the detent, that's, those are the two things that would stand out is the weakness to the detent yeah. as well as... So on yeah. the note of the detent, some of the hinting and talking that they did in the video that kind of ties into the ton some of the ton slips that they gave out yeah is they're <clears throat> using some sort of torsion bar mechanism that has the same sort of positive retention that the speed so safe does and there is actually in an instance where the guy almost calls it the speed safe liner lock speed or uh yeah assisted opening mechanism there you go so speed I mean, assisted, right? Or something like that. It's, yeah, yeah. 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 So, the, oh, okay, yeah. So that's actually, and I'm trying to get a good view of it in this photo. It doesn't really turn out. In some pictures, it looks like there is a detent ball and it is seated into the blade. And in others, it just looks like it's the it's just resting. One of my least favorite things <laughs> that Kershaw did was make spring-assisted knives that didn't have any detent aside from the spring assist. So when the spring assist wears out, you're just... Uh, basically praying that the tension of the bar of the, the lock bar against the side of the blade is enough to keep it shut in your pocket hopefully or CRKT, you send kershaw an email and they'll send you a no, new one no just make the knife properly the first so time that requires effort you know what i've already okay so I, I, good I replaced, sending hey, emails. hey dennis guess what i replaced my leak spring three times and they sent it to me three times and it's great but i'm tired of replacing the damn thing and not being able to use it without an assist anyway there's that <laughs> Because four emails is too many. Emails. <laughs> Just make the, <laughs> make the knife correctly the first time, damn it. Anyway, right half. Anyway, anyway. It's going to be hard sometimes. Yeah, it's a right side only carry, which kind of pisses me off because if this is a model mm. that uses like a steel liner for the liner lock, it looks like. Um, they could have very easily just put in a plate for the other side, but they didn't. So. Oh, yeah. Next nope. knife. They didn't. Yeah. Next okay. Knife. This one is actually kind of exciting to me because I know there's been a lot of people who've been looking forward to seeing his designs again. Uh, the John Graham Razel. This is the GT assisted flipper. So Razel. yeah, kind of cool to see his stuff on the uh, being released by CRKT again. This does mm -hmm. appear to have the forward sharpened edge as well as the main profile for for, for the blade. Kind of cool. It's not something that I've seen too many other companies do, much less in a folding knife. So. Uh, the one downside to this, you may have guessed, 8CR13. Um, 
do you <laughs> surprise but you still get hey an assist with ikbs and with a knife like this that's exactly what you want right <laughs> um it looks like a dog it sure does <laughs> <laughs> it like a little puppy sure that's, that's all i want to say is it looks like a dog yeah um, there's a comment I'm going to save until the end of us because we got to power through here and it's a running theme. So let's just keep going. Next knife, sons of bitches. Um, yeah. Unless anyone else wants to comment. The handle looks awkward. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> yeah, it that might tail end, trap man. you in. That yeah. tail end just doesn't, I, I don't know how I feel about that, but it makes me nervous. Yeah. What's the handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last knife before eight. break, I'm going to say. Nope. Before break? Oh, that, that's, What's way, now? that's way too quick. Yeah. It's only like 8.30. 7.15 no. to 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock to 8.45. Well, 8.45? Okay, I guess so. A little Jesus. a little quickish. Jesus, man. He's like, <laughs> that's it. We're done. I'm working for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next knife yeah, okay. is the yeah. kinematic... Uh, let's just do both at the same time because I don't think there's any difference yeah. in the materials. Uh, Why would you not do both of these knots at the same time? <laughs> like, well, it's... I'm just I'm double checking the listings to make sure that there isn't actually a difference besides the color. The yeah. Um, so this is obviously the provoke. <coughs> uh, they decided to use plastic for the handles. Mm -hmm. And four one one six for the blade steel. I've got mm. some. Uh, oh. Hey, is that a is that a metal liner on the inside of that handle? It sure is. Yeah. Hey, that makes me feel slightly better about it. Um, I was under the assumption it was just plastic. Mm, okay. That actually makes me feel a little bit better. Okay. A little um, bit better, yeah. Now that also makes me feel a little bit more confident that this locking system here isn't just a plastic lever. There's probably going to be some steel component as well. Okay. Cool. Um. I was worried this was going to be a cheap piece of shit that they were billing as an excellent deal uh, in comparison well, to the put, D2 aluminum handled version. They did right? put 4116 on it. They did. So, yeah. But as far as excellent deals go, that's even cheaper than what they kind of hinted at in the video. And that's like, that's 100 bucks US. That's not a bad price. Uh, it's not like I haven't paid that before for a design I was really interested in, like, so, well, yeah. I mean. And for what a cram it's used for, that's that not specific, necessarily a bad steal. <laughs> yeah, that specific cram no less. It genuinely might be an option for one that I pick up just to be like, hey, I have that mechanism now, but I didn't have to shell out the damn near $300 for the aluminum and D2 yeah. version. I think I almost, and yeah. If you went to a raver party, you could pull one out in each hand with each color and then spin them. And then slice the shit on my own wrists. <laughs> yeah, and, then, sure. and then there's red <laughs> and yellow and orange. Just, just, yeah. just, oh. <laughs> uh, next so, night. Yeah. <laughs> next so, night. Next. <clears throat> That's the Nerk Tie Flipper. This is a re-release. It's a freaking re-release. but It's the same knife except for green. Yeah, it's 8CR14 yeah. instead of the 8CR13 that I think the older one used. No, a... no, 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 no. The last one was Oz8 and they charged five times the price. No, 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 no. That was the large <laughs> version. This Nerk, this version is the three, the 3 3.1 inch. There was The larger one was Oz8, but wasn't the smaller one okay, something else? Okay, so they only charged five times the price. <laughs> I let it. It'd be the same knife, but it'd just be green from the shamrock it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, I take it back. Dennis was right. The other knife was actually Oz8. I take it back. Okay, but this I knife, don't know what I'm talking about. But this about. knife is also but... super cheap. So th th I might actually mm -hmm. grab one if only because the locking mechanism is actually kind of interesting. Um, but it is... But this knife has been out for years. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just haven't had a non-Oz8 version, I guess. Maybe. Maybe it will come out in time for March. They should yeah. just make <laughs> the entire that's, thing out of detail. powerful green. Just rust the whole thing. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, next knife. <laughs> next knife. <laughs> next knife. <laughs> that was so fucking quick. Okay, so the next ones are the Pillar Three. There's two different versions. Uh, we should talk more about the more interesting one, I think. Uh, but there is a difference of eight CR thirteen to D two, and they change the backspacer from I don't want to say aluminum. I think it's just steel. Um, the brass. 
whatever it is to brass. Uh, yeah, whatever. The better it is option is to brass. brass. Yeah, the better option is the brass with D two. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like an evolution of the pillar lineup. Um, mm-hmm. pillar, whichever. Uh, your vote, your votes count. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> is the more cleaver style pillar two or pillar large that they've made. They really should have just called it the pillar two, but. And the pillar large. There, there isn't any actual votes that should count because technically it is pillar. We we're all just saying it incorrectly. Mm-hmm. It's, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I'm okay. Fisk wins by default. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. Anyway, this actually. Uh, oh, IKBS. And I don't think this one is assisted. I think it's just IKBS. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I'm actually. I'm kind of interested in this one, especially for how cheap it's going to be. I wanted my card to scale on that knife. That is fair. It's an yeah. IKBS without a flipper. Eh, good for them. That's going to fire. I like that knife. Yep. All right. Yeah. Dig in. Dig yeah. in. Um, I don't <clears throat> necessarily mind the blade shape, but as I kind of hinted at earlier, I do think that the uh, blade shape for the Lucas Burnley Huron is more fitting to the progression of the uh, Pilar. Pilars, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fair more enough. of a pointy rather than a stretched mm-hmm. out. Yeah. <sighs> I think these more simulate cool. more of the Vox customs, the F1, the F3s, the F5s, yeah. the, yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly which F this is, but um, yeah, you can take this F and shove it. No, not not really. I like this. Please don't. I I like (laughs) this. Is probably the most likely knife to come home with me of the entire collection. If I didn't own this guy, I would probably get that guy. But yeah. Next knife. Next knife. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so this is the uh, another Jesper Volksnes Tuito Tuito Mm -hmm. Tuto. I'm going to call it Tuto. It's an assistant. Mr. Fitzwatel. Tweto. Tweto. Beto. Um, G10, two position pocket clip. Hey, look at that. Lefties are included this time around. Mm -hmm. Uh, Matching scales. Yeah, it's a liner lock, so it's matching on both sides. That's kind of nice. That's never a guarantee. (laughs) No. Okay, and yet here, it doesn't look like that detent ball is really all that deeply set. So who knows? Who knows? That's what she uh, said. Assisted opening. It is assisted. That's a good time. Yeah. Um, is it IKBS as well? Yes, it is. Yeah. All about that. Interesting. Double um, Doubling down. Now, here's a super weird question. I wonder if they're probably going to all be new caged IKBS with the combination of assisted. Yeah. Oh, the it's, loose, uh, loose with IKBS would be a good time. That's so, hey. Time you're putting the torsion bar in there. Sure. Yeah. Well, Four one one six for the blade steel. In a Buko style blade, that's not it's the all worst right. thing in the world. I just I, 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 was, I was kind of, I was kind of hoping for D two, but can't have everything, I guess. At least put twelve twenty seven because I noticed that they started to do that. Yeah, they did that more on a lot of their knives this year. They threw in some of that. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I found really, really funny about this thing is during the video, I was like, huh, I kind of like that guy. That's like almost kind of like a really utilitarian kind of almost Puko shape just before they talked about how it was Puko inspired in the video. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, it, it's not bad. I do kind of like it. Although it loses points when it's uh, assisted opening with a Puko. Those are kind of contrasting hey, thoughts a little bit. I don't know. Whenever uh-huh. I think of Pukos, that's the first thing that comes to mind is, hey, how quickly does this spring into action? Yeah. It's yeah. always the first thing. Is that a brass backspacer as well? Uh, sure is. It sure looks like it. Um, no, it is. It's a true story. They, they did that a few times this year. Good. Very nice. I, Very, yeah. I, I just, like the brawl the brass is an accent idea. So you're not stuck with a entire slab that's really heavy, mm-hmm. but you still get the nice color of the metal. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like it's uh, taking up too much room on the knife. So it shouldn't, yeah, you're right. It shouldn't be overly heavy. Very cool. That's and it. I do like the uh, col- color combination of the brass with the green of the handles. That, that's actually yeah. kind of nice. Uh, again, mm-hmm. I, I've said it so many times, I'm really sick of getting black knives. I, I want some choice mm-hmm. in colors, especially with my G10s. But anyway, anyway. 
They did that with uh, one of the other giant most. It was the green micarta version. Anyway, I'm anyway, actually I'm actually super excited about this one. It's the Eric O, the Eric O, uh, the Trask. It's a deadbolt with D2, and it's it's Wii. Um, well, not Wii, mm. but it's pretty small. It's a 3.3 inch blade. Uh, I've wanted a small deadbolt knife for a long time, and I didn't want to pay the money that was necessary to get the what was it the the, uh, the M4 variant from the from Kit Carson. I wasn't going to pay yeah. that much for four one uh, six. M4, but... yeah, 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 yeah. M40. If it came with M4, M4 for the... yeah, yeah. oh yeah, okay, thanks M40. Because if it came with the uh, with M4 blade steel, I mean, sure, I'll pay money, but. It, this is D2. It's uncoated. It's relatively small. Uh, anodized backspacer. I'm actually freaking all about this knife. The only thing that I can really find a complaint for is the polymer handles. But I think for what else the knife offers, I'm willing to look the other way. Um, I it's going to be so don't... awkward for me. Oh, for you? Yeah, no yeah. kidding. You're going to hate this thing. <laughs> it's going to be way yeah. too small to operate and move. And I mean, if that knife is only 3.3 inches long, that means that pivot is pretty small. It's not like we, there's a lot to work with there. So, And it's still just a uh, right-hand carry. So it, Yeah, it's it. it's just uh, a right-hand carry. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. It looks like a weird egg. It does, and I kind of love it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of an eggy knife. Uh, especially, especially closed. It's a weird little egg. Uh, I, I like it though. I kind of really like this knife already and I hope I'm not disappointed when I get it in hand, but I don't think I will be. Um, yeah, I don't Speaking know. Speaking of disappointments, next knife. <laughs> Disappoint <laughs> oh, shit. I don't even know really? what's next. Oh, Are you actually go. disappointed yeah. over this? Cause I'm kind of No, they curious. took it. They took the James Brown knife and instead of making a fixed blade, they did it in a deadbolt style and gave yeah. us the box credit. But I, but. Or field strip. Not dead yeah, Sorry, not dead bolt. Yeah. Field um, so main thing for the disappointment for me is the awkwardness of that handle. Like, even not for my hands, I'm just mm -hmm. looking at that thing and like that is bloody awkward looking. It's yeah. pretty blocking. I'm not sure how that weird cutout choil thing is mm -hmm. gonna feel in hand but i imagine it's not gonna feel great mostly because of the way this flipper seems to interact with the forward portion of the handle I extreme wanna... ratio has been doing that for years no oh. but the difference is the subtleties this one's no. not gonna be nearly as like aggressive as an extreme i ratio. was just making a joke yeah. quite honestly <laughs> yeah. but i'm, I'm but looking hey. at it going like i this could be another viper Barus handle where you're all like it's not as dramatic as it actually okay. seems now to be. keep in mind though keep as even as you say that keep in mind this is a oh, jesus even smaller than i thought a 2.6 inch blade I'm aware. I'm aware. Yeah. So it's it's tiny. So for me, I What's think D2? it's I uh, D2. Okay. So I'm actually very interested in this one. It's not that much less expensive, though, than the Bonafide. So I'll probably get the Bonafide first, then maybe this guy if he feels comfortable. <laughs> but it's left-hand carryable. They have the slot. They can swap over the pocket clip. So if you guys, are, if you guys like this knife, mm. it might be an interesting option if you like that mechanism. Um, so that negates my point on the Bonafide when I was thinking about it catching on the edge of your pocket and that maybe that was why they didn't do the left-handed carry right they did it for this one yeah uh maybe it's just because uh Ken, Ken because... hates lefties yeah. no 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 yes for vox <laughs> hates lefties what? and that's why he's booby trapping us oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just, oh shit what i i had a knife when i put it in my onion, pocket but now there's just cards now there's yeah, just exactly. cards everywhere ken onion's like hold on let me save you from yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me save you from yourself anyway no one can save me from myself anyway <laughs> many have tried <laughs> yeah depending on how that index how your index finger is going to sit on that knife that could be a hit or miss definitely also, I'm a little bit thrown off by how rough that handle material looks. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it in the pictures, but I hope it isn't quite as rough as it looks. They've talked about it with the Bonafide as well, but this new, like, orange peel, peel texture, and yeah. I think that's what they've got going on with some yeah. of these ones. But next knife. <laughs> next knife. You got one, huh? Okay, Leong Ma. Holy crap, by the way, holy crap, next knife. Yeah, so mm -hmm. talk about your lefty compatibility. Uh, it is an assisted flipper. I 
Is it assisted by KBS? It's got to be. You bet like, it is. You it bet sure it is. Eight CR You're 13. pounding that train like it's a lawsuit with a Natrix involved. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okay. No, but it's funny because it's true. Um, it's, I'm not yeah. laughing because I don't agree, but <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, a lot of anodized components to this knife. It's 8CR, but it, I mean, it's a pretty knife. It, the, like you said, that orange peel texture, they've got that going on all over this thing. Okay. I like this one. Uh, I, I, I am so worried. <laughs> about, <laughs> that, yeah, that's that, fair. So the Lanny is like such a beautiful piece from Leon Ma, like the Riat versions, the custom versions, they just like, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful knife. Like the expectations, I hate to say it, but it's almost like the Millet Knives, like Thero oh, yeah. that came out well, and there was as so as, much hype. As far as helping your concerns along, go to the picture where it's showing the uh, knife closed, the uh, horizontal like uh down onto the blade stock yeah yeah and zoom in onto the gapping at the spacer um mm -hmm. that's that, ikbs yeah. and a torsion bar though well no no yeah. like even along the very back edge the, of the back spacer like the button on the, the outside button. edge Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you looking at a different photo than I? Fit and finish wise, there's some ridging going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've noticed that with a few of the uh, the aluminum handled knives we've looked at, there seemed to be a little bit of gapping in some of those pictures. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. I have I have high hopes for this knife, but there's a there's a big cliff to fall off of when it comes to <laughs> well, the expectations look at the price look at the blade material do you really think they're shooting to hit the same market that would go after those knives i mean no 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 but i like on other you knives you don't the have... people that can't afford those knives a decent experience hopefully you know what I mean? yeah i mean it's not so expensive that you couldn't afford to try it out for sure that's what um, I mean. I would hope that they would make a decent. I was the comment that I was going to make earlier was that it looked like similar to like your uh, pen your rhino. Um, the fact that there's a Riyadh version apparently of this knife that exists makes a whole lot of sense to me because that's oh, exactly what I, dude, I saw when I looked at it. Look up the Leon Ma Lannies and just the plethora of beautifully made knives that is the Riot got versions or the custom versions. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time looking at this just because, you know, CRKT stuff. Next knife type of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but damn, these are pretty knives. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Seeing how that's the end of the row, I may as well try this again. Break time? Yeah, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so that leads us into a question at the beginning of the third episode, but continue mm -hmm. on. Okay. I'm glad we're having fun with this, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I hope everyone in the chat is having fun along with it as well. <laughs> but yeah, that being that, uh, we are going to run off once again for our mandated government break now that I have figured out what time it's supposed to be at. <laughs> and we shall be back soon once everybody empties out your bladders and refill your drink in the appropriate order. See you soon. Mm -hmm.